the winner of the 2008 Montana Supreme Wow Award is all of our Maya Lady Yagi Wellington. Mum and Dad are both um, originally from Switzerland and um, I guess there were quite a few, few influences through that. Always being on time, um, sort of a bit of that, that Swiss perfection was drummed into me I guess. From very little Mum and Dad would always speak Swiss German to us. Uh, at the dinner table we used to, it used to be the rule, even if we'd come home from school quite excited to tell them about our day in English of course because here schooling, you know, speaking English all day. Mum was quite good at that, she'd often say, okay, okay, now say it again in Swiss German. And as kids we used to sort of be, oh. But I'm so glad they persisted with that um, because I was able to then work in Switzerland for a short stint, approximately four months. Um, I worked in the Capital Theatre in, in Bern as a costume assistant, costume assistantin, and um, that was very helpful again that I knew the language. So. Thank goodness my parents, you know, pushed us to learn Swiss German. So I first entered uh, the Wearable Arts in 2004. 2008 is when I entered a costume called Ornitho Maya. So this costume was entirely sculpted out of natural russet leather. So it was wet moulded, carved, embossed, hand dyed. I think the, the best part of it was that I had asked my dad to help me build a box before I sent my costume to um, Nelson. Anyway, it was about three in the morning while we were still building the box, and then all of a sudden he goes, you know, if you do win something, like say the big one, maybe you can shout me a trip to Switzerland. And I was like, sure dad, anything, you know, and we shook on it. My parents' reaction to me winning the Wearable Arts was, was pretty cool. Um, tears just came down their face. That was probably one of the most special things about it, I think, is that I could finally give something back to them. There's a little tear coming down my cheek. I, yeah, got the whole lump in my throat and couldn't believe it. It's really cool. It's great that these things like this for us artists to showcase what we love to create. So I've been contracting out to Weta for probably the last going on eight years now. And at Weta Workshop, I am mostly costume based. I've worked on um, Prince Caspian, so Narnia, uh, Avatar, Daybreakers, District 9, and obviously now the Hobbit movies which are, are coming out. I've been working on creating my own sort of jewellery line, which is again exploring um, leather as a medium, and um, Wearable Arts definitely gave me that, that sort of pedestal and that helped and that sort of exposure that otherwise would have been very, very hard to, to achieve. I'm very proud to be both Kiwi and Swiss German. Ich gratuliere Auna zum Fifth Jubiläum.